Endzone has now been released. We no longer have the early access tag and the big bug in the upper left corner or anything. And they have a new feature that uh, increases the difficulty of the game. Now, we are 100 seasons in right now, uh, and they have this feature called Raiders. Now, at this point, we're not we're not even close to like fully realizing the the potential of this colony. Uh, part of me says, let's go ahead and just focus on developing the colony and just seeing how we can survive that way. But the other part of me says, how cool would it be to like have this new feature halfway through this? There's no option. You can see here, it says there's no option to do this later on. Um, on this save, of course, we could start over and have it. Uh, but let's experience this. I know roughly how it works. Like they'll make threats and they'll want stuff or they'll like raid and they'll do damage to buildings and they'll kill militia and all this stuff. We're not ready for any of that stuff. So, you know, hopefully like that doesn't happen <laughs> for like a minute because we'll have new buildings and stuff. We'll have to like build and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I think we should go ahead and just give it a shot and just see, right? I mean, you know, no one lives forever. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> okay. I can smell it. Yeah, smell it all the way here. Yeah. Give it to me. I want all of it. I guess. I guess we're gonna start right away. I think we're gonna pay tribute actually, because uh, for real, it's like yeah, no, I can't. Uh, I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't have. I have no defenses. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh man. So he wants what? He wants rations. Okay, cool. The rations are fine because they're basically this means that we can't do uh, uh, we can't do expeditions anytime soon. So let's see. Oh, I see. Look at that slider. Oh, that's pretty sick. Uh, oh man, too bad I can't see my resources actually while I'm in here. Oh, never mind. It's all right here. Um, <clears throat> so we have lots of water, and I think we're doing fine water-wise. Oh, cool. We can just pay him in water. Jeez, look at that. We do some of this. Uh, not too much water actually. We give them more. Oh, a nice Aloxy. So you can't necessarily pay them more than what they'll uh, what they'll take. Let's just yeah. Let's pay. We're we're done with um with with ex with scouts right now. We'll do this. There's a little happy medium there, and then we'll pay that tribute. No. Oh, there's a smell of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So let's take a look and see what we have. Uh, defense. All right. So yeah, look at that. We got new watchtower. Uh, ammunition. So see, watchtower says uh, none. Okay. So there's no description here. Uh, reduced ammunition usage at night. Cool. <clears throat> militia. So we have a new profession. Militia. Ooh. Let's see. Ammunition factory and armor produces different types of ammunition that can be utilized to defend against looters. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, short production time with power. Uh, location attractiveness is minus two. So we'll have to be careful with that. So let's go ahead and see if we can find a home for this. <clears throat> Maybe we'll put it over here. They're going to require metal and all that stuff. What do we have? What was this again? This is a uh, decontamination post. Um, God, I feel like foods and storage and stuff should be there. More than anything, more. Hmm. Ammunition factory over here doesn't make any sense. But we have all this, uh, all of this factory stuff all the way over here. Uh, decontamination was here. You know what? Tailor shop. Tailor shop. Hmm. Let's go ahead and this is a coal charcoal kiln. We have another one next to it. The workshop here. Let's go put it right here behind this. I think this is a good place to put it. Slide it in there. There's no gap there. No, it's not. Okay, so we won't worry about that. And then watchtowers. So watchtowers, oh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, this is a pretty small radius that they can patrol. We will we'll put one right next to the am ammunition. Let me see, is there a gap there? Nope. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, there is a little bit of a gap. So we'll go ahead and give him... Oh, nice. We're going to zip through there. So we'll put a tower there. These are going to be like minimally staffed. I, I also wonder like how often are we going to get raided? And if we have any... any noticed. Notice when there's a raid coming. Um, so watchtower, put another one. Uh, this one give any negative? No, okay, good. It'd be kind of weird if it did. We'll put a watchtower in the middle here. We should put a watchtower probably over here. By the school. Right, right next door to the school. That makes sense. Makes kids feel safe having cops in school, right? <laughs> I know I had cops in school when I was growing up. Here we go. We'll put this one over here. In case I decide to raid the, uh, all the way out here. Boom. And then, uh, I think that's probably good. So each one of these is going to require a handful of people, I'm sure, right? Let's take a look and see what do they need. Uh, wow! Whoa, that's a lot. We have a lot of people coming, uh, a lot of kids growing up here, so... But we're not really full everywhere else, so it's going to be minimally staffed. Like, very minimally staffed. Uh, I don't remember if this was a thing before. Look at non Um, I don't think I've ever clicked on this. Building condition. Is that part of the rotation here? 
Oh, sure is. Yeah, it's this last one here. Oh, I wonder if this was here before. It's been a few days since I played. Uh, I try to release these episodes. Going to speed things up a little bit. I try to release these episodes. Um, record a bunch at once. That way, I'm like very familiar with the game and I can get everything all together in one, you know, like basically one cohesive kind of run for you guys. Um, but you know, I didn't want to put too much out before, or record too much stuff before launch because I was already getting to the point where I was like, you know, there's content that was going to be coming out after launch and everything. I think, yeah, I think these these several points will be fine. It's going to take forever for them to build because we have only so many people um, manning the uh, uh, building. Let's see, oh, fire occurred. Uh oh, oh, burning wood. The building was severely damaged and some of the workforce was injured badly. Ooh, okay. Well, we, that's going to be taken care of, no problem. Let's see, uh, how is our how is our I don't know. Oh, we have one knowledge to spend. Let's spend our one knowledge. Open research window. Let me see. Logistics warehouse. Let's see, cyber storage. We already have. Oh, we have temporary storehouse, is what we have. This building cannot be used to collect any water. Offers more space. Improve radio mass. Use the improving trading posts. We can contact traders in a targeted manner. Cool. We haven't got to that point yet. Uh, see, hemp weaving mill. See, hemp weaving mill produces cloth from hemp. Then we have a loitering ban. Prohibit sellers from boosting their confidence by visiting their homes or other buildings and as a result distracting them from their work. That is such a weird one to me. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you're just telling them they can't like chill, <laughs> you know? Immunity, a settler's consumption of herbs and medicine increases 200%. This prevents an outbreak of new diseases. Ooh, knowledge transfer. All, in all uneducated adults are educated. This, de de uh, this decree consumes two knowledge uh, accumulated at the research station. So wait, just straight up all Okay, uh, and weather station. Regular. Oh yes, we need this to really just to progress. Period. So let's go ahead and do that. Research time, a whole season. Okay, cool. Start that research. Here we go. Let me see. Food wise, we're doing okay. I, I believe we're actually on the up. Uh, there's that one damage building here. This is gonna take forever for reals. But we have a lot of people, a lot of uh, new adults here. Perfect. Let's go and put them into uh, these work positions. We have a couple set up over here. We don't have the militia set up yet, so no big deal if they're not uh, if they're not manned. Ideally, what I want to do is get to the point where, and I've said this before, um, where I like, have every position filled. Like running skeleton crew is just just not. It's not. There's no longevity there. <laughs> skeleton crew is just not going to work. Forces lodge looking good. Plenty of bushes here. A hunter's lodge. They're hunting. Let me see. Over here, same thing. Forces Lodge, great, fantastic. And they should, they should be operating in a uh, cut down roof forest. That's what we need for both of them because they're the livelihood of the others surroundings. There we go, for Forest Lodge. I forgot we could do this actually. Switch, switch, switch. Perfect. How are we doing here? Research performed on new technologies. Weather station has been researched and is now available. Awesome. Oh gosh, we're, we just don't have the uh, people to do this, but we should just try, I guess. Trading post, contamination post, market. Da, 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 da. We, we should actually build a market. Like, that should be the very next thing we build, like way over here. Um, we need a lot of logistics people, though. We may be getting ahead of ourselves on buildings to. Because this requires log lo logistician, I think. Yeah. And we don't have any right now. I don't think we have any other, any other roles that give you that. Yeah, it does not. So, so we're not going to build that just yet. Let's go and get rid of this. It bothers me. Uh, let me see. Deactivate construction, right? Let's get rid of it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, how about uh, demolish? Change field of work. Demolish. There we go. Hmm. Water point. Temporary storeroom. Okay, anyways, let's go back to... Uh, was it technology? Technology. Weather station. It's going to need power, isn't it? Can only be built once. Okay. Uh, do, do people in the area hate it? Oh, work, another work-related incident. Come on, I educate you guys. For what reason? Are you tailor shop? What the hell, thumb prick? Luckily, no one was hurt, but we'll have to replace a major portion of the production equipment. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. That sits there nicely. Weather station right here. I feel like that's really eating to the community area. Boy, not a whole lot of choices though. And no, no negatives here, so I could put it back over here somewhere if I could squeeze it in. Nope. Put it over here. Oh my god, look at that one square. One square! What is on that one square? Oh, it's a mountain. <laughs> what is on that one square? Ah, it's a mountain. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we'll put it here. Nobody's manning this watchtower, I know. We'll get there. 
Electricity. Boy, I'd like to do electricity soon, but we're not quite there yet. Yeah, so now, with once once that's built and we have like one person sitting in there, I think that we'll be... 6 out of 96. Man, I really don't know where these bodies go. Um, once, yeah, once the people are... Um, once somebody's working this, sh this shift over here at the weather station, we'll be able to track when contaminated water or contaminated rain is coming in, and then we'll be able to start actually farming um, <clears throat> and, you know, developing, uh, you know, and growing seeds and orchards and all that stuff. So we'll be able to actually just cultivate our own food, which would be great. How are these guys doing a scrap, actually? They have plenty to choose from. Uh, they can't get these, it looks like. Oh, wait, never mind. I just saw some come from that, so never mind. I guess they can't. It just takes time. Our scrap supply is fantastic, though. Water supply. Everything looks like it's going up. Let's check our numbers real quick just to make sure. See, storage population, buildings, game progress, population. Da, 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 water. Boop. Yeah, water supply is going up. Fantastic. Um, let's see, overall food. Food is also going up to meet the uh, oh, the warehouse's needs. Okay, I was like, what's this red line here? <laughs> that was my, my population. Uh, great. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is good because the raiders will take food. So we could offer them food to get them out of our hair temporarily. Somebody is not working here because they have died. And we don't have somebody to replace them? I guess, yeah, we don't. Let's go and drop one here and we'll put them in here. There we go. Also, another one here. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Oh, no one's working at the ammunition factory. Metal bullet, rubber bullets. Huh, not only the possibility to defend against looters. Interesting. <clears throat> I wonder, is there a benefit to that? My, 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 someone just came to the door alarm just came on. Checking it real quick. Alright, seems like it was just the wind. It is very windy outside today, so, and we have a bush that is within camera shot, so it moves. <laughs> when it's windy, it's just, it's just, you know, it's late at night, nobody should be here, you know, coming, coming to the house right now, so when it says that somebody's outside, I'm about to, I'm about to strap up! Anyways, um, so, uh, it looks like I didn't pause <laughs> while I was gone. So, this illness is nothing to sneeze at, Karen, the illness is gradually getting out of hand. If we don't provide any medical assistance, many of us still could die from it. Okay, they just, this is just a mission for them too. Oh, she's cute. Uh, that wants me to, uh, see medical science soldiers as medic. Okay, easy peasy. We could do that. We just assign one more person, and we have the people for that. Perfect. Good! Ta-da! And we're gonna get reward of a whole bunch of medicine, so I'm sure it's probably not that out of hand. Oh, it's 40 people. Holy crap. Lots of people. What are they stricken with here? Wow, I guess that research should really go into something else, huh? Uh, no, I want the person. So let me see, they are, uh, minor, minor, okay, minor illness, oh, come on, dudes. Like, I mean, it's 24-hour flu. You're fine. He's not no Rona. It's not the Rona, right? <laughs> it's just, like, built that into the simulation. Uh, let's see, um, a two, 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 okay, and a three, and they're gonna, or they could create it fast enough? Let's see where they're at with the tasks. Zero out of, oh, we're going super slow. Might need to assign another person to help make the medicine. I think we should, just at least, very least, temporarily. So we've reached the, uh, kind of teetering at 130 population. Now, we were sitting at 120 for a long time. Um, and I've noticed that we've kind of been, uh, teetering at... Well, yeah, yeah, about 130 or so. Knowledge is power, hey, got new achievement. And then, uh, work our way towards another one. So we have... The ability to research. I guess we should do immunity. Just to keep that, you know, keep that immunity up. <laughs> Get your vaccine, everybody. Let's see, number of settles with a the disease. They cannot carry out a function. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, well that's fine. Um, I guess it pulls them out of position entirely because we have, well, those things are already unassigned people from. What are we here? Let me see. Okay, builder, 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 builder. And then, of course, we need militiamen. We'll get there. We'll get there. Anyways, let me see. Where were we? Being isolated from the rest of the population and brought to there we go. That's what I want to see. Get tomorrow a reason. What does this do? See over three hundred over three hundred children were born in one session. Hey, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Forest lodge, weather station. Do I have anybody assigned to this? Uh, let's see. Rainwater collectors. Here we go. So this is building covering. 
Um, so rainwater collectors. Set the rain contamination level at which the respective buildings are supposed to be covered to protect them. Uh, I would say like contamination level low and low for fields for either one. We don't have either, we, well, we don't have really either one actually. Um, yeah, you see the testers here and all that stuff and they have the, the test beds and all that. Uh, I guess I don't need anybody to actually work there. Cool. It just kind of operates. Um, it just acts as just a signal for other things to, uh, uh, for other people to react to. Speed these up again. I guess they made their medicine like hella fast or something because they got happy. Weird. They're not making it now. Is there, do we have herbs? And spices? Uh oh, what's that? Oh, research for new, new technology. Wow, that goes so fast. And we have another one about to be done. Good, good, good. Electricity! Ooh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Let me just check to see if there's anything else. Loitering ban, you know, just keep these fuckers from, from chilling, I guess. Uh, no, I think knowledge transfer is probably smart. Um, ha. But, uh, yeah, no, seriously. Uh, great to, to knowledge accumulate at a research station. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just, uh, get these folks learnt. Get them learnt. Okay. So right now we're just basically waiting for more people to, uh, like, do you see how we're getting some more here? We're so, we'll, so, we're still sitting around 21. Um, maybe we should build a couple more. I mean, our food and our, our food is doing okay. Our water's doing okay. A drought would hurt, but we don't have a drought plan for a minute. Uh, and we could also see, by the way, we could see now highly contaminated rain, my, mildly contaminated rain. We could also see all that stuff. So I think what we should do is with this next batch of people, we should start building out farms. Um, and then... Probably within range of a contamination post. So this out here, basically. Um, we'll build a couple farms, build a couple orchards, and then we'll man it with some of the new, the, the, the freshies that are coming in. And then we can start expanding our our suburbia over here to support more people. Uh, are these even close to full? 24, 25? I, mean, I don't think all of them are, are they? Hmm. Well, that's research center. <laughs> How bad is it when you're like a research center? It looks just like this. <laughs> just like your living quarters. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so those are full, actually. Okay, so we're doing a pretty good job of keeping things maxed out right now. So we don't really have a lot of room to grow. But we're not going to grow until we have more food anyway. So let's go ahead and focus on that. So we'll go build food. Uh, orchard or a... Let me see. Hmm, oh, a kitchen. Oh, wow. Uh, cultivated field. Let's start with a field. Make it a big-ass field. What are we going to do? Do we put it right over here? Now that's how market's going to go right there. So we'll do it over here. Be kind of nice, right? Right up against the, uh... Right up next to all this stuff. Boom. An orchard. Pretty little park or something. <laughs> right here. Kind of line it up. There we go. These two fields will supply a lot of food, I think. If I recall from the, uh... From the tutorial. To the seed. Slow things down a little bit. Let me see what we have. Uh, oh no, I was gonna say we have lots of seeds. No, we don't. We just have uh, cherries. So we'll do cherries. I uh, see <laughs> three point five seasons, four hundred and eight food. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a lot of seasons, but it's still a lot of food. Let's see. We'll do. Uh, we have wheat and we have tomato options. Hmm. What did we see? Just the output here. Three hundred and twenty food. I wonder if we should put another. What's? Oh, someone's home lately. Okay. Yeah. See, we're getting to that point. We're getting to that point. Um. Also, we're, our, our, hmm, our numbers are kind of dwindling a little bit. I think because older people are living in these houses. So let's get this. As soon as this is built, we're going to go ahead and start expanding out that way. Like more, um, more food or more uh, houses. We have another field opportunity here. I say we build another one right over here. Give one a little bit of space. One grid of space. Yeah. And then we'll build it out like this. And then this one we'll do... Tomato. 360 food. Good. Choose that seed. Okay. Now these should be worked on next. Or, oh, I guess, um, never mind. I guess they would just, they'll just go over here and just do it whenever they get a chance. Which is not a lot of people, so it's kind of a balancing act right now. 121. So we lost a lot of old folks. But yeah, so what's happening is older people are living in these homes now. We should probably, probably have a couple homes with uh, old people, right? Old? No? Really? There's adults, young adults. Oh, they kicked them out already, huh? Damn, okay. 
my theory was that there, there's going to be some older people living in these houses with younger folks, like, you know, three generations worth, and that was causing a problem, but I guess they don't do that. <laughs> not a very realistic simulation if you're not having three, three people living, three generations of people living in one house. Come on. Come on. All right. So there is, there's something else I'm supposed to do with this, actually. No, maybe not. I, th I think the... Yes, you're upset. Why are you upset? What? I'm not, I don't even care right now. Uh, and I think the other thing was the the, 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 the the weather station. That was the only other thing I needed in order to make this... Um, like, correct. Although I do think now is probably a good time for a... Uh, let me see. Resources for market. Oh, no, no. We need more houses. So yeah, this thankfully doesn't require any building. It's kind of nice. They're just gonna plant. It's gonna take forever. Probably a whole season for them just to plant because we don't have enough people. Well, we have a drought coming up, so guess what all the fishermen are gonna be doing? <laughs> Period. That's what you're gonna be doing. 5,000, we're stat- I just noticed that actually. Look at this. Uh, our storage facility is only a lot for 5,000 food. Huh, okay. Then we should... I mean, this one is not even close to full. Let's raise that limit, like, a lot. Like, we should just be, like, just making tons of food. I understand they're probably doing other things, but... You know, we might get raided, dude. And this, too. I didn't realize that, that these limits were kind of uh, arbitrarily set. Like, I want them to... to, to yeah, I mean, like, seriously, like, just keep going. All the way up. 10,000. Let's go. I want buffer. There's no mechanic in the game I know of that's going to stop me from fishing in this lake, you know? Like, there's not going to be a... As far as I know, there's not... Uh, uh oh. This well is unmanned. Um, there's not a problem with overfishing a source. So I'm not worried about that. The next... Uh, set of raiders that comes through if they come in sometime soon that we're just gonna pay them off pay them to go away crazy how long that takes I almost wonder if building a road out here would just make more sense like just put them out here you know like it's a like one way or another they're walking out there but if I put a road out there and then put the whole damn gear like the whole scrapyard out here they can do all this mess, and there's a lot of scrap here, right? I think we should try that. Let's see what we're looking at in terms of manpower here. Hmm. Although we're doing fine on scrap, so I'm kind of just like, maybe I should just leave it alone. It's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah, see, look. So they put the, the things over top because there's contaminated rain coming. And that protects crops. Pretty neat, huh? Took us that long to do it because we need to get a damn weather station. How are we doing over here, by the way? Okay, we're working on it. I think now is probably a good time to. Yeah, let's go ahead and build some more houses. Housing. Cabin. The sturdy shelters on our uh, in our future, just not right now. We'll do one, two, three, side by side. I'm hoping this takes forever to build, so I don't have to worry about overpopulation anytime soon. Especially because, again, like 10,000, and literally, look, see, we're, we're dramatically increasing here, so. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. <laughs> so yeah, this is a problem now, so we've, we've, we've been chilling. Okay, so we're back down to 120, so that 130 was just an anomaly, really. Um, like just like a couple seasons where we just happen to have some old folks that were living a little bit longer than they should have. Um, and so now we're dealing with the, uh, the rebalancing here. So we're still, we're, we've been at 120 for like 20 seasons now in terms of people. Yeah, we have a, we have a thing coming. Uh, we have lots of water. We have, uh, houses that are already built. Goddamn. <laughs> Jesus, the party populated. Oh, got you. Oh, God, Jason Eleanor. Oh, gosh. Oh man, Marlin and Georgia. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So yeah, that's gonna push our. Uh, I'm I'm guessing that our next 
Um, Valance point is going to be probably like 1 in 40 or so. Uh, I'm hoping like 150 we could kind of get... What's that? Why is it yellow? Oh, unassigned workforce? No. Okay. Interesting. Was it just meant I was like just stagnant? That's weird. Lots of builders. Yeah, no scouts, no explorers, none of that stuff just yet. Should probably put some more people in what? Let's see. Um, well, we have a drought coming in a while. Let's go and pop them here. Herder, no farmer. I mean, yeah, probably clean some of that up. Get some folks over here. Keep this, keep these numbers up for a minute. Again, something I really like about Banish. I like having all of my, all of my things up. I want to see the people, what the jobs are doing. I want to adjust all this stuff on the fly, move it around. I want to see the, the stats, the, the, the stock and all that stuff. So this game definitely runs a, a, a bit of a cleaner UI. Okay, so we have a little bit of uh, contamination. We should see this get covered or something, right? Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Three more people. Three more settlers. Charcoal burner. How are we doing charcoal, by the way? We're doing good. We have, like, squat for electronics. Plastic is kind of hurting a little bit, but we don't really have any other plastic. Hmm. Let's see. Hunters. All these... All, let's go... Farmers. Again. Yo, it's funny. I said... You know, I'm so dumb. I said, I said earlier, I said, what, that uh, once there's a drought, then the fishermen have nothing to do on the to the field. I'm pretty sure the field is going to be in-op as well. <laughs> the field is not necessarily going to be, like, just thriving or anything. So I guess I'll put them on, I don't know, like other tasks. Other. Whatever that might be. Oh, cool. Look, and then, like, putting the trees down also covers up that unsightly thing here. Oh, this is get covered, huh? Oh, snap. I thought that that was going to be covered. So, what's this mean then? Contaminated resources, but we also have the decontamination to here, so we should see people from this. Oh, no, uh, from here. Uh, working over here. We should see the pathing here. I don't know if they go and spray the trees or something or what, but we should see pathing show up. Oh, look, never mind. It's not highlighted, so I guess it's not an area that is uh, actively taken care of. It's going to be the storeroom. Which is filling up, by the way, 2%. Let's drop this down a little bit, because we have some, uh, some space here. Oh, that number's swinging back up. See? CCZ? 10,000 food. 10,000... Wow, actually, we're going to hit 10,000 food? Yeah, we should... Uh-oh. Lack of tools. Maybe we ought to build a workshop. Dude, we already got a workshop. Man, whoa, whoa, how many workshops do you want? Oh, gosh, you want more metal tools? I got one workshop. Um, you and I think we should do... I wonder if I can build... Let me see... Tools... Tools, probably, uh... Logistics? <laughs> Workshop... Warehouse market? No, not logistics. God damn it. Resources? Workshop. Can I squeeze... I can't. Okay, cool. I can squeeze two in here. For the price of one. Let's go and crush this here. <laughs> we need to have two workshops. We need to have another workshop, but let's go ahead and tear it down. <laughs> That's what you get! Let me see. We'll turn this around. Put them butt to butt. There we go. Perfect. Butt to butt. Wrecking for a dream. Let me see. Uh, contaminated equipment. Okay. Equip settlers with contaminated. Who's contaminated? You. Oh, you're not wearing nothing. Oh, you're hungry. Okay. Well, why don't you eat some food? <laughs> Girl, eat some food! What you doing? Let me see. Well, what's up for real, though? What's, what's going on over here with the, uh... Contaminated soup stuff? We have plenty. I think that she just hasn't picked hers up yet. How old is she? Hold on a second. That's an old adult. It's no longer fertile. What's the, what's the, what? What's your old ass doing out here without protection? For real. Please, Emily. Right? Is her name? Emily? Whatever. Uh-oh. Lots of people. We're sick now. Why? Severe illness. Don't tell me this is from the food. There's a lot of people that are sick. Does it tell me exactly why? 
No? Negative effects? Turning trash into gold? Huh, this is interesting. I'm actually not entirely sure why they're sick. Didn't we just research the 200% food deal? Hold on. Immunity. The settlers' consumption of herbs and medicine increased by 200%. This prevents the outbreak of new disease. So what is going on? Do we have no herbs? Medication. We have lots of medication. I'm a little, I'm a little confused. There's a, there's a lot of people sick. There's a lot of people sick. Herbalite. Production limit has been reached. I mean, yeah, they're, they're maxed out. Yeah, they're maxed out. And the medicine's through the roof? I am very lost. Let's let it go and see what happens. Just a plague? They're upset about tools still. Well, then build this shit and I'll make some tools. Hurry up because, well, we have lots of time. Yeah, well, I'm a little confused. We said the people working there, right? The workshop folks. Tech, uh, what were they called? Technician, yeah. Workshop, so one guy's there. Could I have two? Making metal tools, please. How are we doing here? Metal, metal, cloth, cloth. We're doing cloth. Cloth, they're doing okay. Plastic, we're doing okay. Metal, we have plenty of. Okay, so the metal production is great. Just gotta get the tools up. A lot of sick people, dude. And now we're going into a drought. The sick people can't work, remember? Thank God this happened now, I guess? What was it? An apple a day. Survival mode. Cure 100 sellers in one session. Okay, sure. Oh, wait, I, I cured them all. All right, it's a, it's a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. I don't know what happened. There's two people that are sick. They'll be fine. Somebody uh, does not exist here anymore. Just gonna take someone from there. Take another one from there. Keep two in reserve. Working, 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 working. Good, good. Yeah, no, no. Metal tool, guy. Come on. All right, metal tool. We'll get, we're gonna get that. We're gonna hit that golden problem. We have plenty of water to make it through this drought, too. Yep, but here comes the storm. Let's watch this through this, uh... Yeah, trust for radiation. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it doesn't really do anything to that. Just damages stuff. I thought it, it's supposed to redistribute radiation, but I guess it doesn't, um... Like, it doesn't necessarily do it on a- on a terrestrial level. Just does it to buildings and such. Who is- is this Emily? Emily! You got- you got the clothes on now! See? He's had to go get it! I think she's just old. About time we take Emily out back. <laughs> Put her in a pasture. Haha, <laughs> it's a pasture. Oh, man. We're, we're teetering around the 130 right now. Look at all these child, children, 28 children. It's gonna become a permanent thing. Let's take a look at this. Let's see, pipe system. Okay, yeah. We need to start getting electronics soon, but first. <sighs> Should we use loitering ban? Oh, this is just, oh, this is a temporary, it's a decree. A decree? I was supposed to set up a, uh, hmm. Let's go ahead and set up. There's another building we set up in order to issue decrees and stuff. <clears throat> but, uh, I don't know if that's what we want, we want to do right now. Anyways, electronics. We're going to have to build some more, uh, research stations for that, or more... Uh, workshops. Actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. But I think we need tier 2 for this. Yeah, we need 2- Oh, we need 2 knowledge for this. I think this should be the next thing we go for. It says right here, it says, An upgraded workshop produces tools that are needed for any type of work. and employs more technicians and works more efficiently than normal workshops. See, instead of... You know, once we get elect electronics, which I, I've already oh, interu oh, interrupt research. Perfect. Okay, cool. We could save that. Um, because I want to get this next, if we can get that. So we just have to wait for one more. You know, we have two. We have two already. So it is in the tier two then, which needs what? One research utensils will be needed to be able to perform research on technologies. One research utensil. Just say. See, research tests can be found on expeditions. Oh, 
Look at that. Okay. Then let's go ahead and finish. Let's go ahead and do, uh, electronics. So expeditions, huh? <sighs> Alright. Then, um... I say we put some people to work. Let's see if we find any... What was it? Look in the bottom left corner, right here. This is where we should find it. Hmm. So it looks like we have to, we're going to have to send a scout out. Yeah, we're, we've done a loop now. We'll have to send a scout out to find a location that is like clearly a science laboratory, right? Like this is a factory. You'll probably get metal out of it. Um, this is, I don't know, busher or something. Probably get some old meat. This looks like it could be SWE. This could be some kind of, uh, like, factory, like, a power station or something. Maybe? See, it looks promising. Does it show exactly what we're looking for? Yeah, see? That's, that's why I was sending scouts out constantly, so we could get through this. Logistics. Doctor. There we go. This might be a good location here. Okay, so what is this then? Way over here in the corner. Mark for salvaging. Well, let's, um... Let's assign a couple people to that position here. Two scouts. It's time to set up an expedition. Oops. So, let's see. Oh, good. It's like this still. That's very far. What's this right here? Help. I'm sitting... High and dry. Okay, well, we're not worried about you, bud. We're worried about what's in here. It's a doctor's office, so we gotta get some kind of science out of this. Two, waiting for free scouts. They're gonna set up their stuff. I don't think we have to do anything further. They're gonna take a while, then they'll get back to us. They'll call us when they're there. Alright. So let's see. Where are we at right now? We're at 113. We got plenty of food coming in. We should actually raise that number again, really. Like, there's no point in having a cap on that. Oops. Right now, anyways. Keep them busy. It's just 20,000. <laughs> Let me see more. 20,000! Let's keep raising the number. What else is maxed out? Metal's maxed out. Yeah, see, like this, like, we're gonna, we're gonna be creaming this number, dude. Like, the second we, anything that we can, that we're maxed out right now, we should have doubled. Coal. Like, the double it. Right, we have the storage for it. Just double it. Let me see. Activated carbon mask. Yeah, see, those numbers we're not reaching, so that's fine. Medicine. I mean, I don't think we need any medicine. <laughs> I know this goes against what I just said, but still. Uh, decontamination kit. Yeah, let's uh, let's raise that up. Oh, okay, that's too much. Like 50. There we go. I noticed, too, that some of the people had a secondary, like, their next job. They're like, this is current profession, right? Hunter, decontaminator, fisher, water carrier. I wonder if it was during the drought, maybe? Or I'm not sure, but I definitely saw somebody had oh there it is right there. Current profession hunter, next profession technician. I one I don't know what that means necessarily. I'm sure it's, it'll come to us. Or I'll figure it out later. I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me what it is, and I'll read it five months from now. <laughs> just kidding, I read the comments all the time. I just, you know, the episode may have already been recorded, so. Uh, new workshop is up and ready for action. Yes, good. Bonus tools. Boop, boop. Well, with the Raiders on, we're good. I was almost going to not do that, guys. Pretty glad I did. So, Eleanor. Go get him, Eleanor. Where you at? Unless you're going. Oh, this is on the edge. Look at this. We're way off on the edge here. Where is Eleanor? Nope. I lost her. Well, good luck, Eleanor. <laughs> I don't even know where I was. Let's see, research performed new technologies. Well, let's see when she gets there, which is gonna be there very soon. We'll know if um if we need to spend that money or if we need to save that extra research, right? Instead of uh, I mean, it'll take a little bit of time. No, no, we'll still wait. We'll still wait. 
food, 7,000. Water is getting kind of low, actually. Um, they have the potential to get more. We just don't have the manpower. Let's go and put five folks under that. Do we have anybody working at the uh, armory? No, we don't. Uh, or not enough, anyways. What are you missing here? You're missing what? Needs sulfur. Oh, shit. Okay, can you make rubber bullets? What do you need for rubber bullets? Sulfur again. Oh, snap. Okay, then let's just shut this building down for now. Nobody's working here. Alright. This is well, it's fine. It's once it's off, it's off. Um Yeah, we'll have to figure we're to sulfur. From somewhere. Doctor's office ruin, and then we have no technology stuff, huh? Oh, advantage you to educate. Oh, I see, I see, I see. This is to bring people. Yeah, got it. Okay. So this is the people we want to send there. Crap. Got it. Well, let's configure an expedition. So now we could do this. This is great. This is one of the first times we're going to be able to see this done correctly. Advantage due to education. Bam. Everybody, because everybody's smart. Uh, settler badges. Bam. Basically, everybody get age recognition. Bam. Look at that. We can basically send anybody. Emily. Oh my god, Emily. Really? <laughs> Same Emily? Emily? Um, let me see. Your scrap. Scrapper could go. That, that takes care of those. Um, let me see. Explorer badge. Pub keeper badge. We don't have a pub keeper, but that's fine. We're not looking for pub stuff. Let me see, do we have any, what is this, um, metal, metal tool, okay, yeah, you, no, no, Jane, oh, hold on a second, metal tool, duh, radiation suit, of course, and then action points, we want a lot of action points, I think we can, like, reuse these later, is that the 50 in stock, oh, yeah, dude, it's fucking 20, I'm big max, no point in not doing it. Uh, how do I fit these last two here? Explorer badge? Nobody here has Explorer badge. They're all dead. That was a long time ago. That was, that was eons ago in this game's time. Yeah, everybody meets the age. Everybody meets the age and nobody meets the rest. So let's just go ahead and send, you know, like, oh, I see. That goes up exponentially. Okay. The resource is not available. Yes, yeah, sorry. Delay might delay start of expedition. Maybe sixty. Let's just send. Gosh, we send just two people. We have the resource for it. We'll miss out on a couple things, but it's just pub keeper and explorers. I think we're fine. Let's send them out. Phil and Emily. All right. Go do your thing. Call me when you get there. Seven people now available. Let's put a couple in builders, and then we'll put a couple in. Um, let me see. Water is still not doing great, so we're going to throw a couple more water. Well, keep good. Fisher, I mean, it's fine. Food is doing good. Gather, also fine. Herder. Teacher, where's our farmers at? Farmers, 7 out of 12. Crazy how many people it takes. It's a lot of work, though. Unhappy person. What? What? You're mad because what? Agatha. Oh, your your oh your home is severely damaged. Said it lives in unattractive surroundings. Oh, I can't do nothing about that. But your home is damaged. Hold on a second. Hmm. We do have some damage. Oh yeah, it never got repaired. There we go. Hopefully that takes care of it. Yeah, I can't have them living in complete disarray. A little bit's fine. <laughs> A little bit disarray is okay. All right. So, yeah, we don't need to see that. Expedition is out. You can see a little the corner that's going to take into the next episode here. Uh, we are now creeping over. Look at that. 134. So we're creeping into the um, the 130s range as, as not as an anomaly, as like staying there. So hopefully, hopefully, by the next time we hop in, uh, by the end of the next episode, we're hitting that 140, 150 mark. And we'll be looking good at like getting everything manned, expanding into new technologies. Um, we're gonna work on getting that. The next thing we should probably put money into is definitely or research into is definitely an advanced workshop, and we can build a couple of those, whatever, and that'll keep these resources, the raw resources we need to keep down. Like when we have a huge stack of scrap metal, like we're doing something wrong, right? That scrap metal should come in and get processed, not chill. It does nothing for for us. So not scrap metal, it's just a scrap period. So. Next episode, that's what we're going to do. Workshop, science thingy, and making some babies. Woo-woo! Thanks for watching. See ya.